Hey, you! Are you from around here? Have you seen this person? We should go see Sister Chow. Okay. Yes, we've been looking everywhere for them. Yes, I know what to do. Okay. It's Jinji. Come in quickly. Yesterday, Sun Tao brought the police and searched the meeting place. They're looking everywhere to arrest you. Get inside, quickly. It's true that wherever God works, Satan will try to ruin it. Go on, okay. sit down okay. quickly. Brother Lin, Sister Lin, how come I haven't seen you at the last few meetings? Have you had any problems? <sighs> Pastor Jung took the police to our house. He read us papers about the CCP cracking down on the Church of Almighty God. And also gave us some negative propaganda. The fact that the CCP has been opposing so hard only tells me that this is the true way. The CCP is an atheist party, a satanic regime that hates truth and resists God most. They label all churches of the true God as just evil cults. This is a fact known to all. That's right. But then, it's really too difficult to believe. Under the CCP, following God has become a very real danger for us. The CCP is too evil. You're right. Under the rule of the CCP, people can be arrested, persecuted, even killed for accepting the true way. I don't understand. Why is the CCP afraid of Almighty God's work? Brother Lin, Sister Lin, everything you've said is true. The CCP has gone through the country to try every way to suppress the Church of Almighty God, hunting Christ and capturing all of God's chosen people. To believe in the true God and fulfill duty in this country does indeed carry great danger. But people in religion and those unbelievers don't understand. Why do we still believe in Almighty God when the government persecutes us like this? It's because we know Almighty God is the true God, the return of the Redeemer. Only Almighty God is capable enough to save us from Satan, free us from sin, and grant us a good destination. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in the final age, man's belief in Almighty God will be what determines their fate. The Bible says, The whole world lies in wickedness. This means Satan rules the world and it controls mankind. All of them live under Satan's domain. They're truly corrupt with no human likeness. In the last days, Almighty God comes to save mankind from Satan's influence so that they can return to God's presence, achieve salvation, live out a real life, and receive a good destination. Yes. That is what our faith in Almighty God means. That's right. Also, we have to understand why the CCP hates Almighty God, and why it tries to persecute the Church. What is its purpose? Why does it do that? I don't know. Lots of people can see it clearly. The CCP is doing everything it can to frame and condemn the Church of Almighty God, arresting many of God's chosen people and taking God out of China, all just so it can preserve its dark regime and forever control Chinese people, abusing the great power that it holds over their heads. In the end, it'll torment us to death and send us all to the fires mm -hmm. of hell. Yeah. The CCP is the most God-hating, truth-hating regime that has ever been seen. 
That's because it knows that Almighty God is the only one who can express the truth, that He is currently performing His judgment, cleansing, and salvation work of the last days. Almighty God's Word is already on the Internet, where it can be found and read by all mankind. The CCP is getting scared because it's aware that once Almighty God's Word spreads among people, anyone who sincerely loves truth and justice will turn to Almighty God. Then its demonic nature that hates truth and resists God will finally be exposed to all. And all of humanity will strike it down, reject it, trample it beneath their feet, and then leave it to rot. It will never have a place in China again. And it will never again try to corrupt the people in this world. That's why it has such hatred for the truth that is expressed by Almighty God and the Church of Almighty God. It does everything to stop people from accepting Almighty God. The CCP is too evil. Brothers and sisters, if we can't see through Satan's manipulations and continue to let ourselves be deceived, or worse, controlled, then we're much too foolish for salvation. Now I understand that the CCP's vicious persecution of us is just because it doesn't want us to follow and obey the true God, gain the truth, turn to God and enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes. yes. Instead, it victimizes us and tries to drag us to hell. So, if we want to gain the truth and God's salvation, then we can't let the CCP control us. Cowardly people can't enter God's kingdom. Sister, we can't let ourselves be weak any longer. People who become passive are useless. It makes us ignorant, shameful, disloyal, unworthy to be called human. That's right. Being passive can sadden God and truly delight Satan. Yeah, it's all part of Satan's scheme. That's right. Mm -hmm. We should take a stand and follow God and curse the devil, the CCP. That's right. Well said. We should strive harder to pursue the truth, fulfill our duty to strike back at Satan and put it to shame. That's what an intelligent person would do. Yeah. That's true. The more they attack, the harder we should work. We must bear witness to God. We can't be spineless. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meng En, after what you've said, I really feel ashamed. I have become spineless, unworthy of believing in God. <sighs> Listening to your words has really renewed my spirit. This time, I won't be afraid. I'll follow Almighty God even if it costs me my life. Amen. Amen. I used to think that the CCP had its days numbered and it would soon collapse. So I thought it would be better for me if I waited until then to believe. But now I see that the CCP's true purpose is to make us all be sent to hell. That's right. Oh, sister, I have another question. If we wait until the CCP is gone before we follow Almighty God, will we still receive God's final salvation and enter His kingdom? Or will we miss out on our chance at salvation? Sister Lin, don't be ashamed. That's a great question. Today, because we believe in God, seek the truth, and try to walk the right path, we face the CCP's oppression and persecution. This really means a lot. Yeah. That's because God is using the satanic regime as a means to perfect his overcomers, while still revealing and eliminating those who don't really believe in God or love the truth. The true overcomers are those who under the authoritarian regime can experience God's words with the truest kind of faith. Through experiencing the CCP's persecution and oppression, they thoroughly see through the true colors of the devil Satan. And then they can hate Satan, forsake Satan and truly return to God, achieving salvation and perfection. Yes. Overcomers are produced in a special environment made by the CCP's persecution of God's chosen people. Without this environment made by such oppression, true overcomers can't be created. That's right. 
Those who sincerely want God, no matter how much they're persecuted or how hard it might get, will still follow God and perform their duty, risk everything to pursue the truth, and their faith in God grows more and more. They see through the CCP's crackdown of justice, support of evil, its lawlessness, and its evil, reactionary basic nature. They see that the CCP is devil, who seeks to corrupt, spread affliction, and devour mankind. They'll hate the CCP even more, so they'll forsake it and give their faith to God. That's, That's right. right. Through the contrast brought out by the CCP, people have come to know God's righteousness and holiness, as well as His beauty. All God provides is His love and His salvation for mankind. The faith that people have in God becomes greater. Their love for God grows. Their hearts become closer to God. These people have broken straight through the CCP's dark influence and have an overcoming testimony. They are the overcomers made by God in the Great Tribulation, and they're also the group that has inherited a part of Christ's Tribulation Kingdom and Patience. They are Christ's true witnesses. The 144,000 overcomers mentioned in Revelation who will enter God's kingdom and receive eternal life. Amen. Praise, Praise, the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's why our experience with persecution over our pursuit of the truth is so meaningful. As the Lord has said, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's see what Almighty God says. Let's turn to page 682. I can read it. Okay. Almighty God says, Perhaps you all remember these words. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. In the past, you have all heard this saying, yet none understood the true meaning of the words. Today, you know well the real significance they hold. These words are what God will accomplish in the last days, and they will be accomplished upon those cruelly afflicted by the great red dragon in the land where it lies. The great red dragon persecutes God and is the enemy of God. So in this land, those who believe in God are subjected to humiliation and persecution. That is why these words will become reality in you group of people. Thanks Amen. Amen. Thanks be to Amen. God. Amen. You see, now is the ideal time for God to perfect His overcomers. When the CCP collapses, these overcomers can then rise up and bear witness to God's victory. When their witness to God reaches the peak, the kingdom of God will finally be realized on earth. Oh yes, we must take advantage of this opportunity. By then, God's work of saving mankind will be completed. Those who will be saved or be perfected will already be set. But if we wait till then to believe, we'll miss out on the chance to be transformed into overcomers by God. Then we won't have the overcoming testimony and can't enter God's kingdom. Even if we survive, we'll be called a service doer, and we won't be a member of God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. Thanks, be, Thanks to God. be to God. God can use the CCP's persecution to make overcomers. We're so blessed to have this rare opportunity in this dark time. Amen. Amen. Yes. Sister Lin, we can't allow cowardice to make us miss the chance to become overcomers. We must speed up our efforts. Believing sooner is much better and more meaningful. That's right. As long as you sincerely believe, you'll never regret following Almighty God, no matter what. You might even think you waited too long. That's right. That's right. That's right. The point of Almighty God's judgment is to perfect man. Almighty God can bless man with eternal life. If we had believed a few years earlier, we might have already gained the truth in life. We have to stop wasting our yes. lives. Yes, so yes you're right. right.
Absolutely. Yes, of course. That's right. God is almighty. God's wisdom is always exercised based on Satan's schemes. Almighty God's work in the last days is unstoppable against any hostile force. Amen. Amen. Since Almighty God began His work of the last days, He has always faced endless hate and opposition from the religious world and CCP. But now, God's kingdom gospel has still been spread throughout mainland China, reaching a level unprecedented. Praise God! That's Praise wonderful! God. So wonderful! Praise God. With tens of thousands of churches being built all over the country, millions of people having returned to Almighty God. That's right. He has gained a group of people who are of the same mind with Him. Amen! Amen. That's, That's great. great. And now the website of the Church of Almighty God has been opened to various nations all around the world. And Almighty God's Word is being accepted by more and more. The expanding of the Kingdom Gospel reveals God's almightiness and the depth of His great wisdom. Amen! Brothers and sisters, let's look at two passages of Almighty sure, God's Word. Sure. sure! Let's turn to page 17. Almighty God says, Today, God has returned to the world to do His work. His first stop is the grand assemblage of dictatorial rulers, China, the staunch bastion of atheism. God has gained a group of people by His wisdom and power. During the period, he is hunted by China's ruling party in every means and subjected to great suffering, with no place to rest his head and unable to find a shelter. Despite this, God still continues the work He intends to do. He utters His voice and spreads the gospel. None can fathom the almightiness of God. In China, a country that regards God as an enemy, God has never ceased His work. Instead, more people have accepted His work and word. For God does all He can to save each and every member of mankind. We trust that no country or power can stand in the way of what God wishes to achieve. Those that obstruct God's work resist the word of God, disturb and impair the plan of God, shall ultimately be punished by God. The kingdom is expanding in humanity's midst. It is forming in humanity's midst. It is standing up in humanity's midst. There is no force that can destroy my kingdom. I am now walking abroad in the midst of my people. I live in the midst of my people. Today, those who bear genuine love toward me, people like these are blessed. Blessed are those who submit to me, they will surely stay in my kingdom. Blessed are those who know me, they will surely wield power in my kingdom. Blessed are those who seek after me, they will surely escape from Satan's bonds and enjoy blessing in me. Blessed are those who are able to forsake themselves, they will surely enter into my possession and inherit my kingdom's bounty. Those who run around for my sake, I will commemorate. Those who go to expense for my sake, I will joyfully embrace. Those who make offering to me, I will give enjoyments. Those who find enjoyment in my words, I will bless. They will surely be the pillars that hold up the ridgepole in my kingdom. They will surely have matchless bounty in my house, and no one can compare with them. Have you ever accepted the blessings that you were given? Have you ever sought the promises that you were made? 
you will surely, under the guidance of my light, break through the stranglehold of the forces of darkness. You will surely not, in the midst of darkness, lose the light guiding you. You will surely be the master of all creation. You will surely be an overcomer before Satan. You will surely, at the downfall of the kingdom of the great red dragon, stand up amid the myriad throngs to bear witness to my victory. You will surely be resolute and unwavering in the land of Sinem. Through the sufferings you endure, you will inherit the blessing that comes from me and will surely irradiate all within the universe with my glory. Amen. You're right. God truly is almighty. And now I no longer fear the CCP. Though it's vicious and savage, it's still beneath the feet of God. Amen. Therefore, we can't let their dark influence overwhelm us. That's right. That's right. The more they persecute us, the more we'll believe in almighty God. Even if they choose to execute us, make us martyrs, we'll be doing something meaningful and approving to God. Amen. That's better than seeking an easy life, being worthless and ending up cursed by God. That's right. Common people have trouble understanding this. It's just like what Jesus said. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's right. The Lord Jesus also said, For whoever will save his life shall lose it, and whoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. If we want to gain life, then we have to be willing to give our lives. That's right. Only by believing in Almighty God can we gain eternal life and enter God's kingdom. I have so much confidence. All I risk losing is my lowly life on earth. But in exchange, I'd get eternal life. And wouldn't that be worth it? Yes. It won't matter if we suffer for our faith in Almighty God. It's worthwhile, and it means a lot. Amen. Amen. That's, That's great. great. We really have to pursue properly. We can't miss out on this.